Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to use Flex Frost edible fabric paper to make lace from icing images. For this tutorial we will be using Flex Frost edible fabric sheets in original white and here is everything that we will need for our project. Flex Frost sheets, a lace mat, water, an offset spatula, and a spreader. Once you have everything you need laid out, make sure to peel off the flex frost sheet from the backing and for this part you can use scissors but I usually just like to rip off the pieces from the sheet because it's a lot easier for me. Once you tear off pieces just go ahead and dip them in the water and wiggle away any excess amount of water and gently place them over your mat. Notice where the damp paper starts going into the hollows of the lace mat. That is a perfect indicator of when to start spreading your paper. When your mat is completely covered in the edible fabric paper, it should start looking like a raisin and that is the perfect time to start spreading. If you do have several pieces of paper that are too dry, you can definitely dip them back into the water or you can simply add water onto your spreader to try to get them to go into the grooves of your mat. Continue to evenly spread your edible fabric throughout your lace mat. Don't worry about the edges being too clean. You can always cut off any excess with a little pair of scissors, but definitely make sure that the insides where all the designs are is clean. And take your time, don't rush the process. I promise it's worth it. I like to also use an offset spatula in between just so I can have more control but if you don't have one you can just go ahead with your spreader. Here I'm just doing it to make sure that my edges are all filled in with the edible fabric sheets and I'll show you in a little bit how it looks once it's done. Once you are finished spreading, you can do one of two things. You can use a dehydrator at the lowest temperature for about 30 minutes, or you can let it dry overnight. I went ahead and used a dehydrator to make sure that I was able to show you my results, and here is what came out. When removing lace from a mat, it's a lot easier to turn over your mat and take away the lace with a spreader. Um, it just prevents pulling and breaking on certain delicate areas. 